Alrighty. Welcome back to more room 2. Hopefully everything's recording as it should. I believe it's been like a week and a half or something since the last played. I believe we ended on the end of my turn. I do like to... When I save in games like this, I like to end on my turn. Um, and if I recall, we got horribly crushed and I was very salty over here. And the answer was yes, we got horribly crushed and I'm not really salty anymore, but I assume I was. Six turns to replenish. What's probably going to happen is that army is going to fall back to Plumeria when, if possible, hopefully, because it's probably still getting harassed. That one's moving to Jerusalem. I was about to say that's where that one should move. And this one's probably going to capture... I do, I do whatever the heck that is and then sit there for a bit. What I would like to do... Let's try and get Athens and Sparta into this war with their defensive allies. Athena though, give so. you wisdom, so that you may speak well and persuade me of your cause. Be welcome. It is unlikely that they are going to join it. What if... Do I click on that? There we go. What if I join both of your wars? Who are they at war with? They're war with Axum. Why are you at war with Axum? Still low. What if you just joined against, like, a part of this war? No? Hmm. Sparta's probably not. They, they like me a little bit better. They're already at war with the Drissian Kingdom, which I'm also at I war give with. You welcome. Let Zeus and all the gods if I ask you to do the war with them, so that if I all may pay profit. you all of my money, which is not very much, I will admit. No. <laughs> okay. We're not going to get them to join the war probably ever. Would it be possible to piece them out? And my attention no. For the next few minutes. How far off Make are we? Case, but Probably more than 300. Idiot. Yep. Um. Oh yeah, I've, I've been playing this a ton. Obviously not on this save because this is where it was, but I've been playing this a ton. There's an objectives button here. So our, we have primary objective here. This is chapter objectives. Now in multiplayer co-op, we only have ultimate objectives. Chapter objectives. We're apparently on like chapter three or something. Hold one settlement in 11 individual provinces. We only have four. We're getting kind of screwed, so that's not helping. Bonus objective is... Hold Libya. Isn't there a tactical map? That's what I'm it's a way to show this. It basically just wants me to hold this area, this kind of chunk of land down here, that's fair enough. I believe you can click on it, it takes you to it too, yeah. We already hold that one because that's where we start, and then that, okay. What is this one? Forge a defensive or military alliance with Rome. Make a satrapy of Seleucid. How much does Rome hate me? Not too much. You want to trade? Speak. Quickly. I mean, they the they don't like me. To ease your parched throat when you are done. Um, they're at war with so many people down here. What if I offered to join your war against them? Why are you still at war with the Etruscan League? Still nothing. What if I join all of your wars? Still nothing. And this is just for a trade agreement. Why don't you like me, Rome? How do I make it show me why you don't like me? Just do it down here. Treaties with Carthage, treaties with Nova Carthage, treaties with Libya, past treaties with Nova Carthage. Carthago, whatever you want to call it, it's Carthage. I don't have any treaties with any of these people anymore, do I? Or am I trading with them? Probably trading with them, actually. Mm, yes. Not trading with Nova Carthago, can't trade with Nova Carthago. They're also up there, which is interesting. We're gonna do a bunch of stuff that has nothing to do right now with this turn. Apparently Nova Carthago's capital is up here. That's unusual. Oh, because they no longer exist down here? That's also extraordinarily unusual. Whatever. I think this, yeah, Seleucid's gone. They got destroyed by Carthage at some point, it looks like. And or Rome. Well, that's... I mean, we've ended our turn, so... 
We're just gonna pass a turn. Hopefully this dude doesn't get hit by a spy again. So he can actually fall back to town and maybe get some Zari back. It looks like Seleucid also took a big hit as well. Not nearly as much as I recall myself taking, to be fair. He did turn. So I think a spy did interact with him. Yep, there it goes. And we're not going to be able to retreat. So this army is gone. 1%, 4%, 3%. There's no chance I'm going to save this. I'm just going to auto-resolve it. There's, there's nothing I can do. We can't retreat because that stupid spy is a piece of garbage. So we lost two complete armies. Because that spy is a complete piece of garbage. Yes, yes. Noble death, I know. Managed to kill 117. Good job, AI, I suppose. Considering the forces the AI had. Well done on their part. There's nothing better I could have done. It would have been a loss either way. Any units I ended up injuring would have just... My camera's upside down, so I'm confused. Any units I ended up injuring would just replenish before I did anything. Would you kindly allow Sure. Wasn't I just at war with them? Also, vassals are completely worthless in this game, I've learned. A new technology. The gods bless those who seek for also, knowledge. Also, I don't well, know why that doesn't work. It doesn't pop up in multiplayer, which is nice. Military sabotage, yep. I'm aware. Peace negotiated. Ally confirms war target. Okay. But I'm Egypt. I don't know why it said Egypt preparing to move against war target or whatever. I'm focused, focusing way heavy on military, I've noticed. Although, to be fair, I have a lot of construction as well. Is there anything here that would improve things? More public order in every province. I think we're already capped at 100. Well, no. We're doing good enough, though, so I'm not fussed about that. What about... More ammo for range units is pretty good. Reduced recruitment for ships I don't care about. Extra attack. What are these bonuses? I should check these. More movement range. More replenishment rate. Replenishment, replenishment rate bonus is pretty good. You're going to continue moving to Jerusalem. Do I want to try and take that town? We already have archers? I suppose we haven't been playing a while. We can't make it in one turn, can we? Oh, we can. No, we can't. We can almost make it in one turn. Where did that dude's army go? He's buggered off. Which is disappointing. Uh, the plus side of having armies destroyed means we're going to make a ton of money. How can I, assist, I should be recruiting on this guy. What do you have? You have two cavalry. You have no ranged units. Stop. Stop scrolling so much. Uh, Nubian bowmen or Egyptian? Nubian have more range. Do they cost more? No, they cost the same. They cost more initially, their upkeep is the same. That's what's going on. They have better health, better morale by quite a lot. I think we get some Nubian bowmen. I wish there was like an accuracy stat. There was an accuracy stat in... There was an accuracy stat in Shogun 2, wasn't there? I swear there was. Maybe there wasn't. Uh, anything that can make me more money? Do we have food? We have excess food. Tons of excess food, in fact. So anything that would improve my economy would be nice. Could improve Alexandria's walls, but I'm not too concerned with that. Um... That's just research rate. We don't need to keep boosting research rate so much. What are you? Your port. What do I want to make you? I could make you a military wharf. That would give us a military wharf for the, our, our southern area, I believe. I don't think we have one, anyway. Or I could go real heavy on income. Let's go real heavy on income. I, I do like income. Anything else that can boost my income? 
That would actually do that. Okay. Oh, you know what I should have done is I should have recruited agents, because we have, like, no agents. Yeah. I have some agents. Where are my agents at? Oh, you're in that army. That's fine. You're an army. You're down there unnecessarily. That's right, I have agents down here twiddling about doing nothing. No, not you. God dang it. Come up here. How long is it going to take you to get up there? For freaking ever. I was not expecting it to take quite that long. Spies are garbage against spies, so that spy's not going to do anything. But he will. I will use him to harass armies and stuff. Theoretically, anyway, use him to harass armies. Oh yeah, I forgot about my fleets. Eh, they're being defensive anyway, it's fine. Having my allies focus on Rotos, primarily just to get them off of the field, that'll also give a potential foothold. Rhodes, not Rotos. Actually, it is Rotos, isn't it? Um, also, potential foothold for the allies to possibly push, push into that area. That's where their army went. If he wants to take that back, that's alright. 2400 to stop the adoption. <sighs> We're gonna allow it, because I can't spend the money. I don't have the money right now to mess with that. Our influence is crazy good already, anyway. It's gonna drop. It'll fluctuate, it always does, but... Fleet reporting, my lord! We should... those are transports, that's a fleet, that's a fleet, that's a fleet. We're gonna suffer some attrition, but I should move fleets out to harass or something, I don't know, do something over there. I don't care what, you finished that turns of recruiting. That's kind of a, a thing you can do, I don't... I don't mention it, but you can recruit on the move so long as you don't take more than a turn to recruit. Just move, and then recruit, and then you can move next turn. Um, Nubian Spearman. I hate the fact that that scrolls two lines. Are Nubian Spearman better than... what's its? Um... Not you. They have less melee attack. Better defensive stats, though. Let's get two more of you. That puts it 554, and then we'll get one more cavalry. We could get some skirmisher cavalry. They don't have very much ammo, though, do they? The skirmisher cavalry. Egyptian cavalry are better than citizen cavalry. With the same upkeep. I like the fact that there's so many units with the same upkeep. That pleases me greatly. He's gonna take that town. He can have it. I don't care. Do whatever he wants with it, frankly. Um, frankly, I don't want that town right now either, but we're going to have to take it, so... Hop to it, men. Yep, there's, there's zero chance of anything happening here. 98. Yeah, 98. Do I want to raise it or occupy it? It's Rhodos, so it's probably full of crap I can't use. Let's just occupy it. Oh, I finished an objective. Good job, team. Yeah, it's full of crap I can't use. Oh, well. Actually, to be fair, I only really have to change one building. It'll take two turns. So of having to rebuild it. Um, we'll spend the rest of our money on... So many things to increase research rate. Income. What are you? Are you commerce? You kind of are commerce. We'll make you a market settlement. That'll be most of our money and probably can no longer build anything else. That's fine. Probably gonna build a third army back up soon because now we've got 220 stacks. We really do need a third one. We need one here. I feel. I feel we need one here because this dude... I don't know what he has, he probably doesn't have much, because it's Medaya, and when I was playing the game as Slucid, they're basically worthless beyond the first couple turns. And I feel like we need two armies moving up through this way, because Seleucid's fairly wide. 
So take... Probably take Polymer back, Tyros, take Antioch, maybe take Adura, and then see if we can piece out the Seleucid Empire. And then try and build ourselves up. I don't really know. I mean, it seems like a reasonable idea to me. I need those Dingle Dongles up there. I would love an alliance with Rome. This requires I like them, though. I think they're trying to block that army. And I'm all for using my fleets to help that army take roads, if that's where he's going. Yeah, they're trying to block him. Or it's just the AI derping. I have seen the AI derp. Your people are widely admired, and I humbly request that you consider sure. us suitable for a treaty. Probably not going to be much help, and they're probably unlikely to join the current war, but I will accept that treaty because there was no payments required. Is there anything I could do here? We've got mobs. We have one pikeman, one Egyptian infantry. 29%. What does he have? Hoplites. Hydrogen Cat. Yeah, no. Thoric Swordsman. There's nothing I can do there. Nothing useful I can do there. Unless the AI derped, it was unlikely I was going to be able to kill a whole unit. It is possible for the AI to derp, but you know. The spy is over there poisoning my wells now. I hate that spy so much. Raise an army in Jerusalem. I was going to do that anyway. We're just gonna keep pathing him over there. Now I don't know what counter to spies. Where's my woman at? Oh my god, she's back here. Can you like cross the water? Would that be faster? Second turn would put her there. Third turn. I think it might be faster for her to actually cross the water. Not gonna be the fastest thing to actually get her into position. Um, how's Jerusalem's defense doing? Ten? We could upgrade it, give it more defense. Everything here is fairly good defense except this town, which I'm not too worried about. Do you want an alliance? I mean, your friend... Oop, I hate when it does this. Your friend took Come, an alliance. Come, my friend. Speak. We are men no. of war. Well, do you want to Welcome, trade? Welcome, friend. Welcome. Right. Do you want to join this war? We had heard of your great How's that trading with water route? With this do you want offer, to join this war? Its results. You can only... Oh, you're already at war. Oh, you want to join against that? No. Okay, well... He's already at war. What's his stat, his position like? Not good. Fair enough. Mine's not particularly good either. Um, let's go ahead and raise that army. Actually, we're only making 3,000 a turn. That is, to be fair, fair chunk, but... More manufacturing wealth, and this affects industry, right? Is manufacturing industry? This says industry, this says manufacturing. Oh no, it does say industry, never mind. So this buffs that, and that, and this. That's good. So rather than 200, we'll get to 20. And that lowers recruitment costs. Recruitment costs as well, that's pretty nice. Um, are you an enemy? No, oh, you're that dude. These fleets are not very good, but then the enemy fleets aren't very good either. Why can't we... Can't actually make it that far. We're suffering so much attrition. Why are you so injured too? Why are we even out here? <laughs> what are we doing, Vassal? You're just park you've parked your transports out there. You need to move them somewhere. Sluice's turn was probably poisoning that town if I were to suspect something. Whole lot of nothing so far. Oop. Hello. Am I at war with you? I don't think so. Oh, that's east of Gaheya. That's where they are. Looks like they're just going back to town, being worthless. A noble death. Poison wells. This dude died. Oh my god. 
everyone died. Someone over here died, right? It said someone died, and then it took me over here. Uh, I don't know. Did my spy die? No, my spy is still alive. Please click. Thank you. Did my person down here die? No. Continue this way. How many turns is it going to take you to get up there? None, because we have a town. Would, we, would it have been faster to go that way? I don't know. Whatever. Make your way up here. There's a spy over there. He's harassing me. It's very annoying. Alright, navies. What exactly are we doing here? That's what we're doing. 96%. I'll take it. Sink them both. Nice. Slave booth. There is nothing else. No, we're going to deal with this stuff in a second here. And then you're going to make your way back there. You're going to make your way back there. Because they need to replenish. Please click the button. Thank you. What do we want to research? We've got this bonus now. Some more replenishment rate. More movement range wouldn't be the worst thing. Probably should start work researching siege stuff at this point. be more income. What's our food at? 12? And it's going to be dropping quite a lot because we're building some expensive stuff here. I think that's minus 3. This is minus 3, so that'll put us at a number. Minus 4 public order. We could do that. Hmm. What does that boost us to? Doubles our... Doubles everything, straight up. Let's do that. Then I'll upgrade you, because you give us money and food. You're chillin', you're chillin'. Spy's up here, he's gonna be spying on stuff. Next turn, we will begin recruitment of the other army. A new army. Oh, I forgot to deal with the thing. Political bollocks. This is a fairly, fairly passive war right now. Suddenly Pergamon shows up with a big fleet. Oh no, that's my ally, isn't it? Military access. Sure. If you want to attack Medaya, go for it. Rhodos army, probably. Is that an army? Yes, it is. Not a big army, but that does mean they have two armies. Unless they took this town and then went over and then came back. Friendly, mine. Right. Didn't lose any boats, thankfully. We can expand. We're not going to quite yet, though, because we want to raise another army. Also deal with this before I forget. I think the only person from our dynasty is this dude in Jerusalem. I can do nothing, disown him. Or pay the debt. I disown him. He is a disgrace. Alright. <laughs> Raise our army. Hopefully from... Someone of our own family. How about you? Although the other two are actually better choices. Eh, we'll take... Who's a better name? You do. Sure. Reinstate a legacy. Retain all the traditions of its predecessor. Ch sure? Is there a downside to that? Uh, do we want royal... Let's see. I do, don't I? Yeah, because they're so hard to kill in melee. We'll stick with our Royal Thorax Guard. I give us cold arms so we can recruit a little bit faster. We can make elephants here. Um, Thorax Pikemen. Thorax Pikemen. Those better than Pikemen. I suspect they are. 113. They are. They're also expensive. 
Oh, that's all of our money. Well, can you recruit that? Oh my god, I can do that in one turn. All right, well, you are going to continue moving forward, because I don't care about Tyros. What I do care about, he does have two armies. It's finding where people's armies are. You are being slow. And where that spy went. We do need to find where that spy went and recruit more agents, which I keep forgetting about. I was going to say we'll recruit agents next turn, but that army is going to be done recruiting in a turn, so... Hmm. Hmm. I hope that's not transports. Because by God, if it is, I'm going to be sad. Are you at war with Gur or her, whatever? No, they just walk past each you other, not aggression. Enough. Sure. I had no plans on aggressing to him. They must be. Yeah, he's forced march. They must be at war with each other. Sealed agent has been found. Black sheep. Oh, I lost influence. Apparently that's not what I was supposed to do. You need experience, so... Spend some of my money failing because agents are awful every time I play the game. Alright, is this transports? No, it is not. So I'm not worried about them making a landing and hitting our town. You guys have just been floating around for ages. What are you doing? We've suffered so much attrition. How's Rome doing? Rome is still fighting Carthage. I can't see the north half of Rome, so... I don't really know how they're doing. They should slowly like me more. I could break my trade with Carthage, is it? Yeah, I could break my trade with Carthage. To make them like me a little bit more? That's going to cost me some money, though. But I might be able to eventually get a trade with Today them. Is a good day to discuss Let's break it. Of they're not going to like me.